everyone, welcome back to my channel. Brenda Summers here, Independent Sensi Consultant. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're not. Today I'm doing Sensi happenings and what's coming up. Tomorrow is a special day. It's May the 4th be with you and they're launching a lot of LTOs and then they're launching again May 8th, which is Monday, I believe. And then they've already launched the Sensi Buddy Extravaganza or Bonanza. I believe and then there's all kinds of things happening so I just thought I would do a quick video um, if I look tired I am tired I've been running around all day I've got a messy um, bun it's a no makeup day so whatever <laughs> all you have to do is just listen to me you don't have to look at me um, welcome to all my new subscribers welcome to the channel yes i'm a sensi consultant i do this as a hobby my channel started out as a sensi um channel and then i've diversified over the last year or so and i do makeup and unboxings of other things i do hauls i do pr collaborations whatever i feel like um whatever i'm into is what i pretty much share i still do sensi but i don't do a lot of hauls anymore because i just have a lot of sensi products being a consultant you kind of just accumulate things so um yeah so like always i'm consumer and at some point you just have to say enough is enough and use what you have up use up what you have so that's what i've been trying to do so yeah i don't do a lot of sensi hauls but i do a lot of information type of things especially when products of this caliber comes out and i just want you to stay informed so anyways um so that just gives you an insight of why I am talking about Sensi. Um, and welcome back to all my other subscribers. I really appreciate the fact that you've stuck around for this long. Um, I, I appreciate you guys. Um, I love the fact that I'm getting new subscribers and I get to um, talk back and forth to new people as well as to the old subscribers as well. You're not like old, old, but <laughs> been here for a while. So I really enjoy the interaction with my viewers and and whatnot and to get every video i i itchy sorry i really love getting to know everybody especially if you leave a comment i like to interact with you i try to get back to you within 24 hours if not something's gone awry um like my youtube lately has been really really weird i've been getting comments from a year ago showing up now it's like crazy or two weeks ago i didn't even know about so that really bothers me the fact that i like to respond to people in a timely fashion um the only way that i don't get back to you is if i'm not feeling well and i'm not on my computer or if i go away whatnot that's understandable but anyways i like to get back within 24 hours um you've taken the time out to watch my videos and then you um, take the time out to make a comment so the least I can do is respond back to you so that's my way of of um, showing you how much I appreciate the fact that you've taken your your busy um, your time out of your busy schedule to come and watch me so I really appreciate that also um, just make sure that you're still subscribed to my channel if you want to be subscribed because my analytics and my numbers have been teeter-tottering um, my sign still says I'm at 511 I was at 511 and then I've just I went down to 507 and then back up to 508 59 and then I keep going down. I think I'm at 508 now. So the analytics and YouTube is playing havoc with the algorithm, like I said, and the analytics. So they have a tendency to drop off people or make people unsubscribe. So it's just really, really crazy. Same with the comments, like coming up. Um, like I had a comment from a year ago and then two weeks ago. Like that's just really, really weird. So anyway, it's just keep that in mind. Um, we as content creators really, really appreciate the fact that you do subscribe. And we just want to make sure that you stay subscribed. Um, especially if you're enjoying our content. I mean, you're human. If we're not showing you the content that you don't 
like, then of course you're going to unsubscribe. But I really, really do appreciate the people that stick with me and stay subscribed. I can't thank you enough. Words can never um, say how much it really means to me and how much I appreciate it. So I'm not getting paid. I do this because I really enjoy sharing products with you. I enjoy interacting. Um, therefore, I keep doing <laughs> Um, my channel and YouTube and the things that I like and what I like to share. So let's get on to Cincy Happenings. So there's a Buddy Bonanza happening right now. Um, so on May 1st, which was what, Monday, they launched three new selected Cincy Buddies and they're doing that every Monday for the month of May, I believe. So, um, licensed and non-licensed buddies and it's a mystery every week so you want to keep checking under the buddy tab on my website um, so I will list my website down below right now they have uh, Miss Piggy, Kermit the Frog and Nordy the Gnome for $26 Canadian so that's really really good because when I bought Nordy, he was like 50 some odd dollars. And then they had Miss Piggy and Kermit, they were up there too. So $26 Canadian is a really, really good price, especially if you enjoy um, those characters. I have Nordy the Gnome and he's really cute and really soft. Um, I really would like to get Miss Piggy and Kermit the Frog, but I have a lot of Sensei Buddies. So $26 Canadian is a fantastic deal. And I believe they do come with a scent pack. So, um, United States customers, obviously, I think your buddies are $20 US, uh, United States currency, I believe. And then on my website, I went on um, Groot is $23 Canadian. He's a Sunsea Buddy. And then Rocket is the Sunsea Buddy Clip. He's $7.80 right now. And then the Mandalorian Sunsea Buddy is $19.80. And this is all in Canadian funds. Um, so it's going to be less if you're a United States, um, person. So, um, so that's pretty much it. So, um, of course, um, um, the buddy Bonanza is not eligible for host rewards or perpetual party rewards. So just letting you know, um, so that kind of. <sighs> kind of sucks sometimes, <laughs> but anyways, that's just the way it is. And then the Marvel products that are coming out, um, they're coming out at 3.01 Eastern Standard Time AM, um, May 4th, which is kind of a weird time. So anyways, uh, they're coming back with the Groot Sensei Buddy. It's already on um, the website. Marvel 9 Realms Sense Pack, Sense Pack, I guess, comes with the Groot. Rocket Sensei Buddy Clip is already there, and he sent it in Marvel 9 Realms. The Marvel 9 Realms scent pack with the Groot design, you can buy individually. Marvel 9 Realms, the Sensei Bar, will be available. So I think scent packs are like $9.50 Canadian, and Sensei Bars are like $8 Canadian. And then um, 12 or 1 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and I'm in Eastern Standard Time, so that's 3 1 a.m., um, oh, on May 1st. Okay. So I stand to be corrected. That's why they're on my website right now. And, um, yeah, Marvel 9 Realms I've smelled. It's kind of, um, like a manly kind of scent. It, not really sure on the scent notes. I've got scent notes on my brain, but it's a really, really, um, interesting smell. I particularly don't like it, but, if you like anything along like bergamot waters, um, that type of thing, Route 66 is kind of a combination of those kinds, but a little bit sharper. And I don't like the sharpness to it. I think it might have like a woodsy kind of note to it. So maybe that's why I don't like it. But um, it does last a uh, few days in your warmers. So it's a good performer. I do know that. And of course, these Marvel products cannot be purchased using host rewards or perpetual party rewards because they're licensed products. So may the 4th be with you. So that's tomorrow. <laughs> these are launching at 10 a.m. 
PT time, so Pacific Standard Time. It'll be um, 1 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And they're available while supplies last. And it will be on my website. So I'll put my website down below. And um, so it says, Fire Up the Hyperdrive. The Star Wars collection will return on Star Wars Day, May 4th, featuring new and returning products inspired by classic characters. Here's everything you need to know to jump your sales to light speed. So they're just referring to me. Um, Sensi Bars, the Star Wars Light Side of the Force and the Dark Side of the Force will be $8.50 because they're licensed. Um, if you mix one cube of each, they turn purple. So uh, I like the Light Side of the Force better than I do the Dark Side of the Force. Light Side of the Force is kind of like a um, fresh kind of scent, whereas the Dark Side of the Force, the force is kind of earthy more um dark <laughs> for lack of a better word i don't like it as as well but if you mix the two together it makes the color purple um have i done that no i haven't but i've seen it <laughs> and other people do it so um as well as the air air of adventure the mandalorian um sensi bar is coming back it's eight fifty, and then Sensi Buddy, um, the new one that's coming out is the Ewok. He's really cute. They did a really good job. So um, he'll have um, the light side of the four scent pack. So he's sixty six dollars. So and um, all these Sensi Buddies are really really well constructed and made. I have a lot of Sensi Buddies, and they stand up to the test of time and washings and whatnot. So they're really, really well made. You think 66 bucks for a stuffy? Well, it's more than a stuffy. It's, you put a scent pack in and you leave it um, around and they provoke um, scent memories, especially for little ones that are insecure or want something cuddly to hold even for adults they're really really nice especially when the scent dissipates it's really really nice and then they're cute i'm a big kid so they're really really cute to have and then um scent pack is 950 like i said star wars light side of the force scent pack and then the new warmer that's coming out is boba fett um i know a few of my customers are excited about that so the warmer is 119 dollars because it's licensed that's probably why it's that expensive and then coming back uh, they had this warmer uh, a few years back is the Darth Vader Sunsea warmer and it's a hundred and twelve dollars so a few of my customers are waiting for that so I'd be sure to snag some of these for them and then licensed products again aren't eligible for host rewards or perpetual party um, rewards because they are licensed and then um, if you purchase the light side of the force or dark side of the force there's a rare star wars um, logo um, on them so a lot of people are looking for those those are kind of neat if you get one of the special ones and then um, Sunsea Club, always get my bar, so you can start adding these to your club starting May 4th. And usually they stick around for Sunsea Club for at least 30 days, I believe. Don't quote me on that. So, um, so just letting you know on there. So don't think that you missed out, especially if you have a Sunsea Club. That's the perk of having a Sunsea Club. So, and... Um, just message me if you're not sure what a Sunsea Club is. I can go more in detail with that. And then um, also um, during the month of May, they have a promo. If you buy an air purifier, you get a free replacement filter. So that's pretty good. That's, I think, a 43 or $45 um, value. I haven't looked them up lately. Last time I saw them, they were about 43 45 Canadian and then you can always put them in your Sunsea Club as well and with a Sunsea Club if you had a certain threshold I think $40 Canadian maybe they moved out um, you get 10% off and then at $79 threshold you get to add a half price item so you could add it as a half off item or get 10% and then um, 
So that's pretty good. Our air purifiers, anybody that's purchased one is really, really happy with them. Um, a lot of people save their party rewards. So if you have a party, um, if you're interested in parties, just let me know and I can set up one for you at any point in time. You just gain points um, with people purchasing and the more um, product credit or half off um, credits that you get, the more you can put towards uh, Sensi Air Purifier. They are expensive though. They're they run about $340 Canadian. Don't quote me on that price. And then um, the Beauty and the Beast is coming out May 8th. So that's exciting. I own the Beast Sensi Buddy. He was out I think last year or the year before. Very well made. I was really happy with them. So um, May 8th is Monday. So probably the same launch date. Um, or time is probably 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't quote me on that. Um, anyways, capture the magic of timeless fairy tale love story with an enchanted love, sensey warmer, the Disney Beauty and the Beast collection. Inspired by the enchanted rose, this beautiful collector's item features hand painted details, LED lights for a lovely glow, nods to the beloved characters from Disney's Beauty and the Beast. So that's a beautiful warmer. Um, go online and just type in uh, Disney's Beauty and the Beast um, Enchanted Love Warmer. It's beautiful. It's $125 Canadian. And then they're bringing back, they did release this, I think, last year or the year before, is Mrs. Potts Warmer. That's a cute little warmer. It's $99. And then the Chip Mini Warmer is $33. He's really cute. And then they're um, adding the new Bell Buddy, the last petal scent, um, is Bell Design. So she's sixty six dollars. And like I said, I have the beaut um, I have Beast Buddy. I just couldn't find him to show you to him. He's um, packed away. Sorry about that. But he is really, really soft, and he's really like he stands pretty pretty tall and he's like solid so he's $59 and then the last petal scent pack is $9.50 so for your buddies um, a lot of people buy scent packs to either scent their trash or scent their linen drawers or their linen closet or their sock and underwear drawers or put them in the um, closets that's what I do sometimes you don't have to put them in Scentsy Buddies um, it's just something that you can do. And then the, um, the last petal scent pack, uh, 950. And then, um, the last petal bar, 850. I believe I have that and it's really, really nice. It's a nice scent. It's on the lighter note. It's like a floral, but, um, very, very nice Disney scent. And then um, coming up in June, I thought I would go over really quickly the fact that Bring Back My Bar is happening June 1st until June 31st, I believe. And so I'm just going to go over the bars that was voted back and the scent notes just to allow you um, time to figure out if you want to purchase some of these um, bring back my bars or not. So I will put the scent descriptions down below. Anything that I talked about today, if I can put them in the description box and the prices, I will. So you have something to come back to and refer back to without having to watch my video over. So the votes have been counted an amazing 855,605 votes were cast during bring back my bar voting in January. It's time to announce which classic fragrances came out on top. Take a look at the Sunsy Bars. Your votes are bringing back. So this is just a reminder. Um, I think I've already done a video talking about to bring back my bar um, scents that were winners and that are coming back. But Beach is one coming back. The Beach Sunsy Bar smells like papaya and honeydew Sweden with a hint of coconut. Some people have said that it smells like a tanning salon. Some tan lotion and coconut mixed with oranges. This is a really, really nice scent. I really, really enjoy it. I'm glad it's coming back. It's appropriate for the summer. It lasts 
three or four days in my warmers and it does um, smell like coconut so if you don't like coconuts you're not going to like it and then it does have the sweetness to it from the fruits so it's a very very nice scent very appropriate for the summer cashmere pear don't really like it i don't like cashmere so i really haven't warmed it to be honest i just don't like it um cashmere pear slip into sensual white Sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger. A blend is smooth and luxurious as fine spun, spun cashmere. A lot of people like this. A lot of people say, say it has like sweetness, um, deep um, kind of smell. I I think it, I can't get past, um, I guess, the red ginger maybe perhaps in the white amber i just don't like it so that's just my preference but it's a popular one so it's coming back cherry vanilla is a good one it's very sweet though a delightful swirl of candied cherry and sugared almonds folded into velvety white chocolate ice cream so that's kind of a bakery kind of like an ice cream <laughs> so it's very sweet um churro churro i love this one it's light though but it's well worth it. The warm because baked pastry sprinkled with cinnamon sugar captures that heavenly churro churro can you smell the cinnamon yet i love this one along with sticky um cinnamon buns those are my two favorites like i love those so i'm so glad churro churro is coming back um fuzzy blanket is not bad um i like it more than what i thought i would snuggle up to the soft scent of lavender sandalwood and sweet honeysuckle um, normally I don't like a lot of sandalwood, but, um, and this lavender isn't sweet, but it really, really goes well. The sweet honeysuckle kind of makes the other two, um, even out and kind of, um, uh, not overly, um, florally. Um, a lot of people just hear florals and they go, ah, I'm a floral gal, so I really like florals, but, um, this is a, a solid one. So it's very nice for the bedroom. Or a comforting day, like a rainy day or a cloudy day, just put fuzzy blanket on and you'll be cozy. So it's really, really nice. Ghosty, ghostly greetings. Oh my gosh, when this first came out, um, I had a lot of um, viewers not like me for my review. I just, ugh, it was awful. I had warmed it in my house and I couldn't get the smell out for three days. It just reeked. That's just me and my environment and my nose. My husband and I just kind of gagged on it. And a lot of people love this. So I'm really surprised that it's coming back. But I mean, everybody has a scent out there. A lot of people have different scent preferences. But yeah, I got ripped apart <laughs> for not liking this scent. So spooky black plum spice berry and a dash of bourbon are brewed in a are brewed in a cauldron and ready to beckon you in um it's really dark and deep and woodsy and yeah you really gotta like those kind of um i was gonna say flavors scents to really appreciate this i don't appreciate it i really it just played havoc with us for three days i just i glad to get rid of the smell <laughs> so it's a good performer and i can tell you that happy birthday is a popular one it keeps coming back over and over and over so it's a nice bakery no one outgrows the allure of sweet buttercream frosting dolloped on fancy white cake scented with vanilla i get like a um marble kind of um smell to it as well so everybody has a different um, take on it but it's very nice um, when I first smelled bir happy birthday when I first was a consultant I didn't like it because it was so sweet and it was bakery but I've come around to appreciate bakery a little little bit more but I've got to be in the mood to actually melt that but it's a very nice um, um, bakery so you would not be disappointed Hemingway no the Hemingway Scentsy Bar smells like ripe apples, woody accents of sandalwood, warm cedar, and hints of spice. Um, my nose can't get past the woody accents, the sandalwood, warm cedar, and hints of spice. To me, this just smells... I can't even smell the ripe apples. So, a lot of people love Hemingway. So, 
is coming back for a reason. If you really, really like your woodsy um, kind of scents, um, then this is the one, especially with spice thrown in there. You've got to appreciate those smells. So Harbor's Edge is a really nice one. It hasn't come back for a long time. This came out when I first was a Scentsy consultant. So we're talking 2020, maybe as a customer, 2019. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Like beach grass, flowering raspberry, northern oak ferns, and a surge of salty musk. So you have to like the beachy kind of watery kind of scents um, to really appreciate Harbor's Edge. But it's one of those fresh smells that I really, really light, like. Sorry, I don't get so much the salty musk. I don't really get a lot of that oak fern. So that's probably why I really, really like it. I get the fresh grass and then, you know, the flowering um, raspberry, like the sweetness from it, more so than the woodsy or earthy kind of undertone. So it, it's a nice one and it lasts uh a long time in your warmers so that's a good one to look out for love and kisses mini oh i kicked myself when they took away love and kisses mini i did not stuck up on this this is such a tried and true disney one you have to have to get it especially if you like these scent notes um, bright red berries creamy vanilla and fresh apricot that captures mini's everlasting girly charm this is such a nice, sweet kind of berry, kind of vanilla. It is really nice. Um, it's not overly sweet. It's just, it's really pretty. It's girly and I really, really love it. So um, that's all I can really say. You're, you're getting the fruit, the sweetness from it, and then you're getting the, the vanilla yeah, it's, it's a very nice one, and I'm surprised at how long it lasts and how um, fragrant it is, because sometimes licensed um, bars don't last very long scent-wise, but that one is a good one, so I can see why that is coming back. My wish, I do not like. Um, smells like a confection of earthy fig. I don't like fig scents, so that's probably why. Um, sweet violet and playful marshmallows. All I get is the earthiness. I don't, the sweet violet just is harsh and bitter. And then the marshmallows, no. But if you like those scent notes, go ahead. Painted leaves is okay. Not one of my favorites. Um, if someone had it um, melting in their house, I wouldn't be mad at it, but I wouldn't go out of my way to buy it either. I've had it before. It's an okay. It's good for fall. I don't know why it's coming out in the summer, but anyways, it might be a summer scent, especially if you go walking in the woods in the rain. Perhaps that's their way of thinking. It smells like red maple, blue spruce, and golden woods. So you're definitely getting um, the woods on this one. You're getting. You know how the leaves crunch in that smell you're getting that kind of a smell so um i don't mind walking in the forest after it's rain or raining it's kind of nice so you're getting those kind of smells so if you like that um, painted leaves is up your alley plum and white woods is not too bad it smells like preserved sweet raspberries and dance and plum weep through vanilla orchid you're not getting an overabundance of florals so don't worry about it um, florals here you are getting the sweetness of the raspberries and the plums so um, the orchid kind of smooths that out so it's it's a good one um, rustic lodge I don't think I've ever had this before I've had um, something similar but smells like oak warm cedar musk and traces of wood smoke and fallen leaves a lot of people love this one especially with the woodsiness to it the musk and then the smoke, and then you're putting the fallen leaves. To me, that would remind me of a uh, campfire burning out. <laughs> it's kind of smell. But personally, I have never smelt it, so I wouldn't know. But that's the scent notes. Southern th Sweet Tea, 
is a good one, but it's very light. It, it smells like a splash of juicy peach, white tea, and orange juice. You do get the peach, you do get the orange, and you get a sense of a, kind of like a tea kind of smell. It's very light though, and it doesn't last very long, but it is a nice one, especially if you like the lighter kind of scents. Um, vanilla or sweet pea and vanilla, tried and true, everybody loves this. Like an ambience of raspberries and sweet peas with vanilla, I can um, take it or leave it. It's not overly, um, I was going to say smelly, not overly um, strong for me. It's, uh, it's really, really light. That's probably why I don't like it as much. Um, you're not getting an overabundance of floral here either. My nose doesn't pick it up anyways. Vanilla suede, a lot of people are probably jumping up and down. A lot of people swear by this. Eh. <laughs> it smells like vanilla, sandalwood, amber, and exotic spices. Yeah, it goes back to my wish. That kind of, kind of scent. You got to really appreciate the exotic spices. The cardamom, um, the cinnamon those type of things and then you're putting the amber and then you're getting the wood and then the vanilla kind of evens it out I guess but not for me watermelon patch it's really really good but light um, has been my experience with it it's like sweet vine ripened watermelon the perfect summer scent it's a good um, summer scent especially it hums in the background but for me an open concept you kind of lose it you have to put it in a smaller space but it is a good one especially for kids kids like it white sands a lot of people love this I didn't because I couldn't get over the jasmine in it it sm smells like night blooming jasmine softened by coconut milk and rice in, in or enveloped in the gentle less breeze um, sorry, my lips are dry. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted it, the more coconut to come out. Uh, there was just not enough coconut. I just didn't get a lot from it, to be honest. But everybody swears by it, so don't go by me. That's just my two cents worth. And then last but not least is Whiteout. Whiteout is amazing. It smells like the green aroma of Christmas pine. It helps to keep the mood festive and endless endlessly uplifting I don't know why whiteout is coming out in the summer but it is a good one to me it has hints of mint in it as well it's refreshing I mean don't think of it as a woodsy kind of sharp pine it's not it's when it warms it smooths itself out very pleasant in the warmer so these returning Sensi bars are available for purchase, so I believe they're eight dollars each, Canadian, um, and starting in June for a limited time. Um, you can add them to Sensi Club, so if you find ones that you just can't live without, always add them to Sensi Club. As long as they're in your Sensi Club, you'll always get them. As soon as you um, cancel your um, Sensi order or club. You lose all your picks and and whatnot. So anyways, that is the Sunsea update. So thank you very much for spending a little bit of time with me going over Sunsea happenings and what's happening in the next few days and weeks um, coming up. It's exciting. Sunsea, I have no clue what they're going to throw at us next. Um, these were surprises for me, especially the... Um, Beauty and the Beast, I wasn't expecting that to come up. But anyways, that is so nice. And then for all you Star Wars fans, may the 4th be with you. So um, tell me down below what you're excited for, if you're going to be purchasing anything from these LTOs. LTOs are limited time offers coming up. Um, so, or just say hi. I really appreciate if you just say hi. And bye and then um that's okay too so anyways please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all things coming up you just never know what i'm going to upload next it's a surprise i don't even know what i'm going to upload next so take care i hope you're having a great day 
Hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. Catch on the flip side. Bye for now.